What's up YouTube, it's NathraJK here, and I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to install plugins onto your Minecraft PC server on Windows. So, let's get right started. I'm going to start by opening up your internet browser. And, okay, go to Google, and say that there's a plugin that you really want, like, Factions or World Edit or Server Guard, Essentials, any of those good plugins. Um, but just for this video, I'm going to download World Edit. So I googled World Edit, and sometimes you might want to add the part that says um, Bucket Plugin and sometimes that helps you. You want to look for like the official one but I found the one the official one back here and it's going to look something like devbucket.org forward slash server mods forward slash then whatever it is. At least it should be like that. Um, so here's world edit. You plug in. There's only two good information on here. If uh, you don't know how to like, use the plugin, everything you need should be on here. There's usually like a video or two. Like, there's two. And I'm going to go ahead and download. So, I right, click download and then download again. And it's going to start to download. So, I'm going to go ahead and show it in my folder. If my computer will load and I have it right here so I'm going to copy that out and I'm going to paste it onto my desktop where I'm going to dissect it okay so um, inside of here there's some more good information you might want to read the readme the license, that text, uh, everything um, you're only looking for the .jar file the executable jar file it's going to be whatever you, it is, dot jar. And I'm going to drag that onto my desktop. And I'm going to copy it. And then you want to open up your server folder. You want to look for uh, the folder that says plugins. And just paste it in there. Voila. Okay, so now we got that in there. Everything squared away. You want to open up your command prompt if you already have your server open. If you don't have your server open, just open it and just ignore this whole part. But if you already have your server open, type reload all. And it's just going to automatically generate the files for whatever plugin you've chosen. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the plugins folder again and show you that it generated a file with the config YML. Um, and some notepad, don't know what that's for, and that file, the lock file. Um, so I'm going to open up the configuration with notepad, and the configuration for every plugin is going to be different. It may be kind of similar to what you're seeing, but most of them will be different because all plugins are different. Um, so you always want to read through this. It usually has like a link for more help or support something like that um good good thing to read all this in the dedicated video on the bucket.org website there is a video um but remember after every changes you make and you want to save them save it and then type reload all again and then it will reload everything so now we got all that let's stop talking about all this confusing stuff and just go onto the server Okay, so I'm on the server, and my computer's being my computer, and I'm only getting five, five frames per second, so I'm going to turn down my render distance. don't know why I opened up my server on 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, um... I'm going to change myself into creative mode. And I'm going to uh, 
type slash slash wand. And for world edit, that would get me the wand. Um, so that's basically how you install plugins onto your craft bucket server. Um, please uh, watch my video on how to use world edit. It's a great tool. Now I'm going to record that actually after I'm done recording this since I already got world edit on here. Um, remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more content from Nathaniel JK. This is Nathaniel JK, and peace.